I don't know my dear father. I don't know my dear brother, sister, uncle, auntie. I don't know my dear picnic, bro. I don't know. A few moments later. I'm going to deny your request. I'm going to step bond, uh, given what I'm reading in the probable cause charging affidavit. And I'm going to step bond, sir, uh, in the sum of $7,500 with special condition that you have no contact whatsoever with a listed victim. That means no contact whatsoever. Directly or indirectly, you will not return uh, to scene of the offense, you'll maintain separate residences. In other words, you won't be living with the child. Do you understand that? Oh. All right. Thank you. Your Honor, um, he's just requesting a one-time return with law enforcement to get his things. I'll grant that a one-time return. Thank you, Your Honor. What you know? What a go on? My people, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to say, you know Day and day goes by, it'll look more worse and worse for CMR. I, for one, was holding back my opinion and chose not to speak on the situation until, you know, the truth come out, you know what I mean? Because we know the social media, we know, you know, everyone on the social media platforms, you know, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you know what I mean? Bloggers, everybody. I got us run with somebody thinking about them are here. You know what I mean? Because you know it go already. Nobody gives a F about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. You know what I mean? But truth or not, it doesn't look good because at the end of the day, a man must always try to keep himself out of them type of situation. Never, 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 ever make a name get called on them something like that. You know what I mean? It's just not a good look. You see me? And something where you can't recover from. You see it? Whether underage, you know, or just pit me overall. You get to me and say, maybe you will get some form of leniency from the people if tell lie on her age saying that she older than what she really is. You know what I mean? But in another situation, uh, it does ten times worse. You know what I mean? Because it looked like the transcripts say, you know, the child is actually, you know, 12 to 15. So, you know, definitely pitney pitney this. You see me? You know, some people make some suggestion that it was his stepdaughter, and some people say, no, it was this other, you know, little girl where he might date the mother. So, me never really know what you think, so I kind of keep my opinion to myself and go and watch it if I notice. But never really post nothing on the situation until now, when you see CMR is actually at court at his bail hearing, you know what I mean? And some of the things them with the judge has say make you that pray and think, says maybe it's his stepdaughter, based on the fact she's saying that, you know what I mean? He cannot go back to his resident, you know what I mean? So, people are suggesting, oh, maybe it was Chrissy daughter. That was on Bowie, correct? Madam Clerk has made note of that, and that will be granted. Cushane Carter? Yes, ma'am.
reviewed a probable cause charging affidavit that charges you with lewdness, behavior, child, uh, and I do find probable cause. We'll appoint the office. Well, actually, this indicates that you don't qualify for the office of public defender. Sir, raise your right hand to be sworn in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. So this affidavit that I'm looking at says that you have take-home pay of about $55,000 a year, correct? Say that again? It says you have take-home pay after taxes of about $55,000 a year? Um, that's the calculation I made for this year. Per year, we were doing, because I'm self-employed, I, I was doing well, but I'm based on... Um, Finances, I'd see him this year. All right, so you get, you're in jail right now. Do you get any money while you're in jail from your job? No, ma'am. What I do is... Um, Just yes or no? Oh, okay. No, ma'am. All right, and you have VA benefits of $2,500 a month that you're receiving? Yes, ma'am. And um, 13 something for schooling, but that ends in um, when this semester ends, which should be end of this month. All right, that's the $1,300 you're referring to? Yes, ma'am. All right, based on his verbal testimony, I will find that he, he's got debts of $10,000 and he's incarcerated. He's not earning the income uh, currently. Um, so I will find that he does qualify for the services of the court appointed attorney and I'll appoint the Office of the Public Defender to represent him. Thank you. With respect to, to the charge, sir, of brutal, lascivious uh, behavior or molestation, State wish to be heard. Is this, uh, I don't think it's a dangerous crime. Uh, that is correct. We would be motioning the court um, to help the defendant no bond at this time under um, Florida Statute 907-041-5D. We would be motioning for a three thousand. to deny your request. I'm going to set a bond uh, given what I'm reading in the probable cause charging affidavit. And I'm going to set bond, sir, uh, in the sum of $7,500 with special condition that you have no contact whatsoever with a listed victim. That means no contact whatsoever. Directly or indirectly, you will not return uh, to the scene of the offense. You'll maintain separate residences. In other words, you won't be living with the child. Do you understand that? Oh. All right. Thank you. Your Honor, um, he's just requesting a one-time return with law enforcement to get his things. I'll grant that a one-time return. Thank you, Your Honor. That's my people. So, you are going in the ear of the judge. I said, pertaining to him get bail. You know what I mean? He's not allowed to be around you know, any adolescent, as the man said, which me never understand that because if you, you mean, say, you can't even go around your own child, you know what I mean, even Chrissy own daughter where him help raise. So that's what gives the people them, you know, the, the, the thinking that, you know, it's maybe it's her daughter. You get to me and say, but maybe it's just a precaution that, you know, being that this, the, the chart is where I'm under, him just can't be around any farmer, you know, child around that age. You know what I mean? So, as I can see, she does grant him one, you know, visit to go ahead and get him things out him own house. So, you know, it not look good. That's all I can say. You know what I mean? So, see, man, I don't know how you go wiggle your way out of this. You know what I mean? It does not look good. It does look like something where you can't escape. You see me and say, ah, if some way, some oh, you come up innocent. You know what I mean? I just something this for them to always brand you and have your ass. You know what I mean? It does not look good, brother. 
It should be noted that Dash was sleeping on the bed beside her. The child was wearing a spaghetti strap, tank top, and long pajamas. It should be noted that there are a total of four female children in the household with the victim being the oldest. There is a baby monitor camera in the bedroom, but it only shows live video. It does not save recordings. This is accessible via an application on Dash's phone. She believes Dash also has access to it as well. The information was provided by Dash. Dash agreed to the forensic interview and I transported her to the child center. A forensic interview was completed with the child protection team at Howard Phillips Center for Children. I attempted to make contact with the suspect at his residence around 21 hours, but it was negative. The DCF placed the children under a safety plan where they remained with a family friend and would not be allowed to return to the home until a later time. At 8.20 hours on November 2nd, 2024, I, along with Officer Callisto and Officer Kashida, made contact with the suspect at his residence. I presented the information about the allegations to him. He indicated that there are cameras in the bedroom. It would show he never went to the room. But the camera doesn't record CMR. Come on. The explanation he provided was that yesterday morning, he went to the room to wake up the victim and she was on the floor playing with herself. The suspect stated when he saw that he yelled at her to get back into bed, he then went to get the other kids ready for school. He indicated that this was not the first time this has happened. He advised that he is a dash based on his social media account. He believes the victim is a good kid and is smart and does not cause issue. He later indicated she was a liar and has stated in the past to a family friend that he has concerns that she would make lies against him. But you said that she was good, CMR. He used the example that she once told the police that she did not see Chrissy hit him, but he saw, but she saw him hit Chrissy. They redacted it, but I know that's what it is. So this is a, the, the domestic violence charge. And he was arrested for domestic violence. Based off the investigation, Kushan Carter was placed under arrest. He was placed in my department issued handcuffs, which were double locked and checked for a proper fit. Kushan was transported to Apopka Police Department and then to the Orange Counter BRC with without incident my department issued body worn camera was on and active for the entire event <laughs> on november 2nd 2024 i i officer kashida with the apopka police department was notified of this case by detective shah i responded to dash in apopka upon arrival i assisted detective shah interviewing kushane carter i read kushane his miranda warnings of my department issued miranda card Prior to any question, into which he stated he understood and was willing to answer questions. Yes, for my people, and so I go on and I go on as much as before. It not look good for CMR. You know what I mean? When I see him, I get out that I want to scratch free. You know what I mean? Even if some form of way I'm innocent, you see me, I say, I can always be branded as, yeah, man. And also, if him is guilty, you know, that's the end time. You know? And it's sad to see because I'm one of the men who did a pioneer the whole, you know what I mean, review, blogging thing, as I mean, I'm the one, one of the men who first started. So it just don't look good for me, as I mean, I say. But as I say, get in the comment box, tell me what you think, guilty or not guilty. I don't know just how we tell everything, you know what I mean, unfold before we give on a real judgment on the situation. But as always, I like, comment, see the notification bell for further updates and videos. Kaboom! You know it's Warlord representing Watch you Know! The world, I forget the stats, you know. You know it's Watch you Know Me, though. And it's Warlord, the Sky Star leader. Kaboom! Watch you Know! <laughs>